All right, guys, and welcome back to more Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13 3. We decided to go to the Dead Dunes last time. We were getting trapped by sandstorms. We ran into a damn the last of its kind, the Cactuar. And we defeated it after like some adjustments to our schemata because that fight was just utterly ridiculous until you realize you you're only going to do one damage anyway, so you might as well just try to like maximize your turns and I found out that haste is just so damn broke <laughs> like put yourself in haste so you can recover your ATB and just keep landing the hits putting yourself in haste for that fight is just absolutely necessary abusing just putting them into his uh, stagger is good because it lowers his speed and it also puts them into a uh, greater it basically gives you a greater chance to stun or stagger him and launch him into the air when you hit him when you stagger him, basically. But anyway, we are back, and we are about to talk to this man sitting on the ground with his pants on the ground. Hey, you. Yep. Yeah, you there. What up, Zanfu? Don't you think the last of something seems a bit more special? More valuable, even? Not necessarily. Could just be the leftovers that no one else wanted. Hmm. You just don't get it. I guess I have to explain to you the awesomeness of my research, then. The awesomeness, no, an old really man don't. using Good awesomeness. Anyway. Wait, wait, wait. This is your last chance. Are you sure you want to miss out on your chance to hear the last researcher? Last researcher? I've seen plenty of researchers. No, no, I researched last. Everything has to end sometime, right? Even us ageless humans, we still fall prey to illness and injury. Eventually, there will be a last of us too. Unless the last the of us too. Oh my god, he confirmed it. What do you want from me? I've spent this endless life of mine researching the ends of all the many things in our world. And now, I'm researching the last of the monsters. So you're studying how they die? No, no. That'd be their last moments. I meant the last specimen of a species of monsters. I don't follow. You see, you reduce the number of specimens in a species until they're on the very verge of extinction. Then, what will happen to the last individual? One lone survivor in the face of extinction. It turns out the last individual receives the collective strength of its species, and it transforms. Its form is enveloped in a sickly light, and it becomes far stronger than is normal for an individual of its kind. I've come to call this the last one syndrome. I must gather data on all the species that manifest a last one. I want to drive every last species of monster to the brink of extinction and study their survivors. I don't know whether to salute you or slap you. <laughs> you want to wipe out all the monsters in the world. The world is ending anyway, right? Everything is going to die sooner or later, so what's wrong with speeding things up? No need to feel bad. Get out there and start killing. Are you talking to me? I need someone to start exterminating monsters fast, so I can study as many last ones as possible. You're obviously strong enough for the task, so get to it! <laughs> it's yeah. impossible. All the time in the world would not be enough to hunt a species into extinction. Literally. Yes, you're right. You'd have to be able to live through this life countless times to do such a thing. Why ask if you know it's impossible? Like I said, the world is ending anyway. If you don't ask for what you want now, then when will you? I knew it was too much to hope for. But somehow when I saw you, I thought you might actually be capable of it. Do you even listen to yourself? Hmm. At the foot of the Oasis Lighthouse, Lightning meets a man called Zanford, who claims to be the last researcher. Not the last remaining researcher, he clarifies, but someone who investigates the phenomenon, phenomenon of last ones. Okay. So basically, we have to destroy and exterminate almost every monster in the game, which is outrageously ridiculous. Fine. It's basically this like trying to oversoul every try. monster in Final Fantasy no X-2. I know you'll be able to do it. I can see it in your eyes. You'll come back to me a success. Alright. So the way I see the last ones are like the oversouls from Final Fantasy X-2. Because if you've ever played Ten Two, 2 you would understand that. Let's, let's talk to him again, just in case. The strength of the last ones is beyond imagining. They possess the power of all that came before them. Really? 
Hey. Shooting G. I have to get poisoned, right? Hopefully he'll poison me. Prince and dance Prince and dance Alright, so since we're poisoned, we're gonna go ahead and use the nectar. And now I'm slow. Now we actually... We need to go talk to that lady in um, Yuzon now because... We used it when we were poisoned. Oh! Expected as much. He protects, huh? Shoop, shoop, do up, shoop, do up. Whoa, did we even go in here to shrine? Let's go explore this area. Oh my god, what are we getting ourselves into right now? This is for the future. What's done is done. You can't break me down. You're down. What are they weak against? Nothing. Fight with everything you have. Boom, boom, boom. The music that was just playing is from uh, the original 13. I tried to analyze the door, but it's no good. I just can't seem to get any readings. There's some sort of a regular force field blocking my sensors. Light, I'm afraid I can't offer any more help right now. We can try again later after we find some more clues. Oh, look at that. There's a chest. Yo, I wouldn't even seen that if I didn't even change the camera view. Pain dampener and more Bhakti's oil. Yo, this epic ass music they playing. Like I said before, music is just too legit. I right, just keep walking here. Whoa, ruffian dead dunes. What the hell just happened? You're nearly to the settlement now. I'm sure that you're looking forward to a bit of rest. But I wouldn't let your guard down if I were you. I would guess that everyone living there is part of the bandit gang. So don't be surprised if I wake up at knife point, is that it? <laughs> Fine by me. It'd give me an excuse to beat some information out of them. Damn. You use yourself as bait? Just... Ruffian. I guess that's just like you. But don't let your... The buildings here are ancient structures from another age. I don't know whether to call this a town or a fortress. But it's definitely unique. I'd say definitely criminal is closer. At least there's not much of a dress code, other than looking like a thief. Hey, hey sir, do you know Creep by Radiohead? I'm not a creep. I'm a so you're weirdo. The, nice seat, huh? the job isn't easy, let me tell you. I've warned you. But seeing you're out here in the land of outlaws and bandits, I'm guessing you can hold your own. Once you've got your hands on some soul seeds, track one of us down. We pay good money for them, don't you worry. And then we sell them to rich folks to make a huge profit. Damn, this lady has a deep voice. So, what are you having? <laughs> Lizard meat nacho. Yeah, let's go for a cactar tequila. How about it? Getting tipsy out here. Getting tipsy. It appears that you aren't one of those secutors from the Damn, Order. she's a short lady. The secutors are the greatest rivals that this gang has. Not that either side is particularly close to getting the Holy Clavis anytime soon. They'll never get it if they can't get that door unsealed. 
They got some really good covers in this game. <laughs> What's this? A tourist, eh? If you really want to get any of us to talk, you'd better go see Adonis first. Adonis. Adonis. What a stupid name. But anyway, it's not a stupid name. If you have a name called Adain uh, Adonis, if your name if if you're Adonis, your name. Damn it, I can't even climb up there. I didn't really mean it. No, I meant it. <laughs> Alright, let's keep looking around, guys. Let's talk to these mysterious people. Unusual to see a traveler around these parts. This is Ruffian, the only settlement in the desert. It used to be a real town once, but most people have gone and given up on the bandit life. Well, all that's left. I guess you can say it's the last of us. Ah, ah, ah. How have you know we're the only shop in the desert? Bakhti's oil again. Nice. More oil. I don't barter. You got that? Told you. Well, he's got Phoenix Downs for sale. The main store he sells less stuff than the other stuff. Other place. No, excuse me. Other place had a veal potion. He has a better Phoenix Downs, so I guess. I guess you're all right, Tobias. Tobias. Tobuscus. Hey, what's with the sourpuss? You don't have a complaint about my fine assortment now, do you? It's good enough, I suppose. Go on! I don't need some uppity tourists making demands. Go somewhere else if you don't like my wares. Go on! Get! If you insist, I will. You're not the only merchant uh -huh. around. That's okay. why you're wrong, Missy. Far as I know, this is the only shop in the desert. There was one other fella, but he couldn't cut it. Lost all his drive to sell out here. When that happened, Damn. well, that's the same as death to a He sailor. said to sell out. So, what made him give up? Damn fool. He bet his dreams on the desert, that's what. Poor old Ramon. He thought he'd make a real name for himself out here, selling to adventurers. But in the end, he lost sight of his dream and his business. Sounds good for you, though he doesn't seem like he was much of a rival anyway. Shut it! You don't know the first thing about him. Didn't mean to offend you. What's there to get so worked up about anyway? N nothing. Not a damn thing. It's just like you say. He was nothing at all. It's not like he'd ever been a threat to my business anyway. <laughs> no, not Ramon. I'm done talking about him. If you want to know more, ask him yourself. You'll find him near that old camp in the giant sandbox. All right. Also, get a new hat. He was a pretty strange guy, wasn't he? But if he's really the only merchant around, like he says, then I guess you'll have to count on him for help. Damn. Unless, of course, you want to find out for yourself about that Ramon fellow. Ramon. Ramon. Alright, so we're going to walk up here and get this chest, and then we'll look for uh, the guy we're supposed to talk to. I forgot his name. Adonis? Adonis? Oh, damn it. Running out of stamina is dumb. They should just let me run forever. Considering there's a fucking time limit, let me run forever. <laughs> like real talk. Alright, let's see what this scarf is. Make it less likely that you will recoil upon taking an attack and an unable to attack. Yeah, yeah, that sounds alright if it was on a higher level, yeah. We also got some of these new, uh. We got metal. No. We got a thorn of aggression. Increases resistance to pain and then dazed by 100%. We haven't even been dazed yet, so... We'll probably have to use that accessory for like a battle later. So we don't get dazed. So he's up somewhere, right? Where did we talk to Tobias? We need to go north, he said? No, we need to go in that building, I see. Geronimo. I'm not a weirdo. Alright, so, whoa, look at this. I thought that was an arcade cabinet for a little bit. Where'd you come what from? What the? You're not one of those sneaks from the Order, are Did you? Did y'all see that? Well, huh. Would it really matter if I were? No. I'm not gonna tell you a thing either way, so you might as well move on. Yo, she got I scared. I should've known better than to ask some lowly grunt. You're no help to me. Where's the boss? If you think you're gonna get to meet our boss, you'd better learn to ask nicely. Did I hurt your feelings? Excuse me, but would you do me the great honor of showing me the way to your boss? Please. 
I don't have no help to spare for strangers. Find the boss yourself. She fell on her ass when I talked to her. That was hilarious. Why, hello. Looks like it's your first time to our humble home. Welcome. Do you need a guide? Oh my god, it's Dojima. That's Dojima. exactly what I need. That and some answers to a few questions I have. A woman who knows what she wants. Fire away and I'll do my best. Rumor has that's it that Dojima. you that's Jiraiya. be able to tell me about that's the Holy Jiraiya. Clavis. Hmm. So you know who we are. From what I can tell, you don't look like one of those order lackeys. So what possible use could you have for the Clavis? Why should I have to tell you that? <laughs> you shouldn't, and you don't. You're not one of us, so you can do whatever you want. But I won't be telling you nothing. If you want to know what we know about the Clavis, you'll just have to join our gang. Really? Monoculus. Have you ever wanted to be a bandit? Now's your chance. Not that we let just anyone join us. Dude. But we'll at least let you try We're out. about to become a bandit. If you don't like that? Then I think you know where the exit is. We're about is. to be the wet bandit. That's all I've got to say <laughs> about this. Name's Adonis, by the way. If you want to attempt the trial, just say the word. I'll explain everything you need to know. All right. Cool beans. If you want to find the Holy Clavis, it looks like there might not be much choice but joining up. I suggest talking to Adonis and finding out what his trial entails. The bandits of this desert have been exploring the ruins for many years. All right, shut up, Hope. You ready to see if you've got what it takes to join Monoculus? I got this. Oh. Made your decision, have you? Then let me explain what you'll have to do. There's a giant sandstorm in the desert. You've seen it, right? It's been causing us nothing but grief out here, to say the least. Make it stop. That's your test. Off you go. Make it stop? The wind? Do you want a bandit or a holy woman? Oh, fine. Make me explain it all. Look, that thing's not exactly natural. People call it God's wrath. It's magic or a curse or something. If you can trigger the stone monument near it, you should be able to control it, including making it go away. Really? If you know that, why haven't you taken care of it, instead of asking a stranger? What? You think a human can control the weather? That's just crazy talk. Now go and give it your all. Best of luck. <laughs> Beat Damn. the monster near the stone monument, and you'll get the key that activates it. And that's the last freebie you'll get from me. Adonis, you asshole. So if you want into the bandit gang, you'll have to defeat a monster, get a certain key, and somehow use that monument to stop God's wrath. <laughs> Hearing what Adonis had to say about it didn't sound like anything a normal person could do. You're right, it's not a very fair trial. But then again, you are the savior. Doing what regular people can't comes with a job, right? I've been surveying the desert all these long years. But I have been completely flummoxed by those cursed tablets. That sounds like Fang for a little bit. I don't know why. But anyway, what I'm going to go ahead and do here, guys. I'm going to save the game. Take a break. This might be a shorter part depending on what I edit out. But I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. And once I come back, we'll go ahead and do this quest and see where it leads to. Because we can't really do anything else. And I guess we'll go ahead and abuse Chrono Stasis while we have it. Because... Well, it's almost six o'clock, and we run or we 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 regain uh CP or not CP, but EP every day. So we're probably gonna abuse Chrono Stasis next episode. So I'll see you guys soon for more Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy Thirteen Three. Yes, Ninja, stop moving around.